So before we start our tutorial, I would like to tell you that my logo animation masterclass course is out now. Link is available in the description. So you can do check it out now or later. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video, we are going to create this kinetic typographic animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Okay, so as always here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main animation Width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is one minute long and background color We are right now choosing white color simply hit ok and then hit ok Then press ctrl and your keyboard and create another composition and I'll call it as strip and simply hit ok press ctrl key again to open the project settings and this time width we are going to choose 180 somewhere around like this now we will type our text so i'll select this, my text tool and for the font i'm going to choose poppins font and i'm going to choose extra bold version and i'm going to choose black color now type our text i'll type motion over here like this select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically Press S for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this. Now select this text and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Press P for position. Let's create one keyframe over here. Go to around 2 seconds and press V for selection tool. And by holding Shift, I am going to move this text over here. So if you see this now, we will get something like this. Now we will hide this second layer over here. Now I'll select my first layer and I'll select my rectangle selection tool and we are going to create one mask on this layer like this okay then we will go to the mask option and we will create one keyframe on mask path like this then let's go to the last keyframe select your selection tool and we will select this mask by hitting double click and we will move this mask over here like that so it will automatically create one keyframe on mask path so if you see this animation now we will get something like this okay now we will select this layer and we will hit ctrl d to duplicate it and we will hide this layer like this and press u so we can see both the keyframes now we will delete this mask path over here uh, not first but uh, second keyframe and let's go over here and instead of over here i am going to bring this layer downwards like this somewhere around over here and we will select this mask path again and by holding shift i am going to move this downwards so if you see this now we will get something like this okay let's enable this layer also this layer also like that uh, let's select both of them and press u so we will get this kind of animation for both of them now let's go to around two second select both the layers and press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as one and hit ok double click to open this hit u as you can see my time indicator at the, at the last keyframe of these two layers so i'll hit n on my keyboard and right click trim com to work area like this and let's go to the strip and now i'll uh, right click time and i'm going to enable time remapping like this zoom in a little bit and we will create one keyframe over here and we will delete this keyframe like that so we'll get something like this now alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression over here and hit ok like that so now what will happen that we will get this animation continuously now zoom in a little bit select this layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it go to around 10 frames and move this layer over here go to around 20 frames let's move this to 20 frames over here not one uh, i mean 10 frames hit ctrl d go over here move this layer over here hit ctrl d and move this layer at 2 seconds so we will get this animation continuously like this now i'll select uh, all of these layers and i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as names and hit ok now i'll go to around 2 seconds and i'll press alt and open bracket 
so to trim this comp and i'll move this comp at the start then we will enable our motion text like this this should be at the top then i'll select this layer i'll press t for opacity and i'll decrease the opacity like this and now we will select these names i'm going to select my rectangle selection tool and then i'm going to create one mask on this like this okay then invert this mask so if you hit play we will get this kind of animation continuously and you can select these layers and then you can increase the opacity so you will get this animation continuously like this okay so the and then press ctrl y on your keyboard to create one solid background and bring this downwards now let's go to the main animation and we will select our strip and we will move this over here like that press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this okay then press ctrl y on your keyboard and select white background i mean black background and hit ok and hit ok and let's bring this downwards and we will lock this layer now i'll select this layer i'll hit ctrl d press v and by holding ctrl i'll move this over here so i can properly snap it then i'll select this i'll hit ctrl d by holding ctrl i'll snap it at the edge select this layer again hit ctrl d by holding ctrl snap it over here select this hit ctrl d by holding ctrl i'll snap it over here i'll select this layer and or uh, select layer which is at the top which is this hit ctrl d and by holding ctrl i'll snap it at the edge now this layer should be parent with this layer so i'll select this one and I, if you want then you can change the color of this one to yellow and you can make it a parent with this strip like that okay and all of them should be parent with this one which is our main one so first of all i'll select this one i'll hit enter and i'll call it as main and all the remaining layers i'll make it apparent with this main okay so we will get something like this now i'll select this middle one i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll search for tint effect and i'll double click to apply and i'll swap these colors then i'll select this uh, tint effect i'll hit ctrl c and i'll apply to this layer by hitting ctrl v so we will get something like this if you hit play we will get something like this now there is another thing we need to do we need to adjust the anchor point of these layers so anchor point of this one should be properly at the center but the anchor point of this one should be over here so by holding con uh, i'll press y first of all to select my pen behind tool which is over here and by holding ctrl i'll snap it at the edge i'll select this one snap it at the edge select this one snap snap and snapped it okay so now each and every anchor point is properly adjusted select all of these layers and convert these layers into 3d and make sure that your renderer is in classic 3d now press r for rotation we will first of all first of all rotate this then like this so we should rotate it on let's say z i think y axis so i'll make it 90 and we will select this first layer which is parent with this one this one should be also rotated in 90 degree on y axis this one should uh, because this one is on plus 90 so this one should be on minus 90 on y axis so i'll make it minus 90 then we will select this one it should be on x axis so i'll make it minus 90 and this is minus 90 so this should be plus 90 so i make it plus 90 okay like that and if you want that uh, if you want to look at the whether the circle i mean this cube is properly or not simply select right click new and create one camera and uh, angle of view let's say 39 and hit ok and with the help of your camera tool you can see whether your box is properly arranged or not so in this case your, our box is properly arranged so i'll delete this thing then we will go to the left view like this right click new and create one null object and convert that null object into 3d and press v and bring this null object properly at the center of this thing and now select all of these layers and make it apparent with this null one or instead of that you can simply select this strip which is uh, our main if you click on the source name as you guys can see this is main you can make it apparent with this null one and is it okay it's okay if you 
select all of them and make it a parent with this null so but right now i'll make this main parent with this null one select this null one let's go to the active camera press s for scaling option and scale it like this okay and then press r for rotation create one keyframe at each boxes and go to around 8 second and uh, or you can go to around 6 second also you can create one complete rotation on each and press n so if you see this now we will get this kind of cube with this uh, kind of animation okay so this is how you can create that now select all of these layers and press ctrl shift c and i call it as cube and i'll hit ok then hit ctrl d to duplicate it select second layer press s and increase the scale and you can move this over here hit ctrl d move this over here and decrease the scale like this okay hit ctrl d move this over here hit ctrl d move this over here and decrease or increase the scale and now what we need to do over here go inside this cube select this null one press r for rotation alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it and select this loop out expression and paste it on each and every rotation like this if you go to the main animation we will get continuous this rotation uh, and now what we need to do over here we need randomness in the rotation so i'll move this like this uh, with the help of and you can adjust it like this so now what will happen that we will get random rotations for each and every one okay so this is how you can create this kind of kinetic typography look and if you want then you if you want then you can give a little bit of depth for each and every one uh, so what i'll do uh, let's first of all we'll check it out where, which one is main so this one is main so i'll lock this for now i'll select this layer let's check it out which one is this this uh, let's go to the effect and presets panel and search for blur effect and i'm going to choose gaussian blur select this and let's make this blurriness to 40 so, or let's set to 20 maybe select this blur effect hit ctrl c select this layer hit ctrl v let's make it complete increase the blurriness of this layer hit ctrl c to copy select this layer hit ctrl v i'm going to make this blurriness of this one to 10 and yep that looks good to me so we will get this kind of animation okay and if you want then you can change the color of this one also so you simply right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect double click to apply and you can easily swap these colors so you will get something like this okay uh, and if you hide this uh, you can select these layers you can go to the effect and presets panel and you can search for drop shadow effect on it and for the color i'm going to choose white color for this okay let's increase the distance to 20 increase the softness to 100 or let's say 200 in this case uh, and opacity i'm going to choose 35 you can select this drop shadow effect hit ctrl c select all of them and hit ctrl v so we will get something like this and if you enable this adjustment layer we will get this kind of animation so this is how you can create this kind of kinetic typographic animation inside of after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned